It is time now for Driver on the Street, where photojournalist Michael Driver takes us inside some very special places in our area. And today, Michael is at Southern Kitchen in Tacoma, joining us live. Michael, it sounds like there is a... <laughs> at He's just having a good meal like there. There's a bunch of great food out there and some great conversations to be had as well. Yeah, I'm just having a little lunch, guys. What, uh, what are you guys doing back there? Not uh, Working lunch. way harder if you don't count our alcohol drinking in the segment before this. <laughs> what you eating there? Oh, I've got a mixture. I've got uh, eggs, hash browns. I've got catfish. I've got mac and cheese. I've got this mason jar full of awesomeness. Um, I am at Southern Kitchen on 6th Avenue in Tacoma. This place has been a staple here for 26 years. And being that it's Black History Month, I wanted to highlight a business, an owner that's doing something that's impacting the community in a positive way. And this place is perfect for that. Because let me tell you something. When you come in here, you're going to get excellent food. You're going to get great service. You're going to leave here with a full belly. And on top of all that, you're going to leave here with a history lesson. It don't matter if you're black, white, green, or chocolate. If the food is good, how are you? The people will be here. Oh, good, good, good. These people can do some switching in the kitchen. It's like Southern Kitchen is a meeting ground. Yeah. So great seeing you guys. For black leadership and togetherness of a community as a whole. We ready to get it rocking? When you think of Tacoma, you think uh, of yeah. Southern Kitchen. They're synonymous. But let me tell you something. If you don't know your history, a man without a knowledge of himself is like a tree without any roots. Without the knowledge of where you've been, you don't know where you're going. I have a passion for history. Pictures here of the Tuskegee Airmen, which I love. We are stepping up and into a little bit of Miss Gloria's mind, beautiful mind, and look how beautiful it is. My father's right there. My father was a chef in the U.S. Army and Navy. If you look around, it's a museum. It's a museum. All the different pictures, the colors, the lights, the people, it's phenomenal. You see these guy right here? Those are Native Americans. We all have to remember that this was their land. They contributed a lot. I feel like um, like there's a, kind of like a renaissance going on here. This is my passion. My passion is history. The Negro Baseball League's up there. It's literally everywhere you're looking in every direction, there's some kind of history. There's some kind of lesson. Each table has something about black, about black history. And here again, this is something I want people to understand and know, that we're all part of this country. And in order for us to get along, we have to know each other. That sounds like a plan. What you got to understand is that woman goes over there and hire all kinds of people. Black, white, green, chocolate, porcupine, all kinds of people. I work at a great place and I don't feel discriminated against, you know? That's our goal, is just to make everybody feel welcome. Bam! When you feel that you can be yourself, beauty happens. And just the kindness and love that you're going to get as a staff member, as a customer, as just a stranger coming through that doors, you're going to feel that from her instantly. Sir, a pleasure. That's why this place flourishes. That's why it continues to progress, because it is what it is. It's unapologetically Tacoma. It's unapologetically Miss Gloria. Thank you, my dear. Okay. I'll tell you, life gets no sweeter than this. I'm going to tell my wife, mm -hmm. I've been to the mountaintop. You don't know what you've been missing until you've been to Southern Kitchen. Oh, Kwabi that you just heard from, he summed it up perfectly. You don't know what you've been missing till you've been to Southern Kitchen. This place is amazing. And Carly, I know you're vegetarian. I checked with them back there. They do have vegetarian options, so you're good to go. This place is amazing. And, you know, while I'm always looking for, like, those great food and everything like that, I'm also looking for those great stories. So if you have one of those, send me an email at michael.driver at fox.com so I can come out and tell it. Um, guys, you know, as much as I'd love to come and hang out with you guys on the couch and everything, I'm going to be <laughs> honest with you, after I eat this food and... I'm probably going to go home and take a nap. You've earned it, buddy. Probably you what's, have what's earned going. it. You know, you know, it's that situation, you know, when, like, you're so full, that top button starts struggling a little bit. That's, I've been there. That's yeah. kind of where I'm at right now. Oh, That's what I call a stretchy pant day. Stretchy pant day. Um, what a good a story. That was fantastic. I, I love seeing all their personalities and all the heart behind that. That was awesome. Thank you so much, Michael. Yep.
Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a good story. I love it.